I was in vacation and I kinda missed the Swatch Black Paw release. Were there any cues this time? While the Omega Marine was considered the first diving watch, the Blanc Palm 50 Fathoms was considered the first known diving watch with a unidirectional bezel dated since 1953. The name 50 Fathoms means 91 meters, translated in 300 feet deep, which represented the deepest dive that a normal diver could have made with the technology of that time. So the 50 Fathom kept its appreciation through heritage, sobriety and innovations. But it was never the kind of watch whom you might aim to buy as a grail, at least I never felt it. Once because of the price and the value retention, twice because there are so many options available for that price range, and the third because the Black Palm 50 Fathoms might not have the most appealing design you've ever seen. Sitting somewhere between the trends as conservative and faithful to their design language, maybe a bit too isolated. So I'm not sure what happened throughout the quotes crisis, but what I'm sure of, Blanc Pont didn't catch a train of hype once with the social media boom. The certain part is that Swatch, once with the Moon Swatch success, decided to elevate more brands with their portfolio with the aim to be rediscovered and placed in the public zone where they should have always been. So now it was Blanc Pont's time. So the theory is valid. Of course, since the collaboration between Swatch and Black Palm, I've never seen so many 50 Fathoms on people's wrists than ever in total. So the plastic watches worked. In the case of the Speedmasters, people really believed they bought a plastic Omega, which also reflected in the Speedmasters' professional hype, where the brand went to the sky with the retail prices, cutting all the discounts, resulting in firm and higher prices on the grey market. Now, the reasons why the Scuba 50 Fathoms divers are better than the Moon Swatches are the following. As priced for 400 euros, I think there are many diverse alternatives to grab, even more solid homages for the 50 Fathoms watch. But with such a purchase, you are not looking to add a solid watch into your collection, but to stay in line with the hype for the latest trends in horology. That's the reality. You can actually risk 400 euros for a Swatch 50 Fathoms, which is a semi-official merchandise of the renowned brand, so that is the price to satisfy an official legit curiosity of a legit homage of the 50 Fathoms. Where in the case of the Speedy, firstly before the hype which sent the Moonwatch professional somewhere near to Rolex prices, the Speedmaster was pretty much an obtainable piece, you could have bought an automatic or a reduced even a professional one for good money. So from my point of view it was a real waste to spend 300 or 400 or 1000 or 2000 dollars for a memorabilia plastic watch which promoted the real one. More than that, the perception of chronographs in general relies on precision and the haptic accuracy. And no matter how I've seen the moon swatch, I never could have considered it actually a reliable tool to measure with accuracy tens of seconds. It could but I've never seen it like this because either a pusher can pop off at any second or I can simply scratch it by simply fitting it into the box. It was more like a piece of social conversation starter. Hey, did you get it? Nice color. So did you get it for retail? In the end, after the madness, the queues and the overpaid amounts of money, people understood what they are dealing with. However, this time I see it differently. I see it as a fun go anywhere do anything watch against the Moon Swatch because the Scuba Blanc Palm version feels to be like a recreational watch with less weaker points due to its construction and features. Although I'm expecting to see jumping bezels in time, as we've seen the jumping pushers from the Moonswatch. But still, I find this diver more purposeful, more solid and practical because it has sufficient depth rating to go underwater, has great loom, it is lightweight, it is legible and wearable. Not sure how reliable is the movement in time, but it's a fun watch to stay in line with the trends. And no, I will not fall into the trap to say that it is worth 400 euros because it is not worth spending this amount for such a plastic homage, but I have to admit, it's not bad either. As designed, this is a pure legit homage of the actual modern 50 Fathoms with the reference 5015. Yes. The proportions, the case shape and the dial are pretty much the same excepting for the angled init track which delimits the minute markers inside of the dial, where in the case of the swatch model there is a simple flat surface. 
Speaking about the dial, the Pacific Ocean version has a pointed fumet gradient with a grey tone on the center fading to dark grey towards the dial extremities. As contrast we have arrow markers with cardinal numerals and hands all coated in black on the edges to create sufficient contrast with the dial surface. In this combo I think it creates an interesting atmosphere within the dial, being inspired from the actual fume trend of diving watches embraced by Omega this year. And as for the loom my friends, a delight and a frustration in the same time. Because Swatch offers for this homage excellent loom on the hands, the dial markers, but also on the bezel insert, which sits under a beveled bezel. So the loom is well applied and even on all surfaces and my frustration is that I pay a lot of money for real metallic divers from the Swatch group and some are not that convincing from the loom point of view. As branding I think the Moon Swatch created a lot of confusion. As I said some people really thought they bought an actual Omega with 270 euros because it says Omega on the dial and on the crown. And in this case, Swatch made sure that they are more visible branding-wise, giving a less feeling of blanc pain by putting the engraved Swatch logo on the side of the case as well. The nylon NATO strap is very comfortable, a bit too long for my taste, however as well as the Moon Swatch it comes with branded retainers having the Swatch brand inscription, the scuba label, but also the 50 fathoms engraving on the buckle, so no blanc pain logo on the strap. However, pay attention when you want to change the strap, you have to remove some really small allen screws in order to remove the spring bars, so you will need two screwdrivers to perform this action. And palette-wise, the colors of the retainers alongside the strap accents and the case offers an interesting color composition, being well contrasted and recognizable, and that's important. As quick specs, we have a bioceramic case which measures 42.3 mm in diameter with 48 mm as lug tip to lug tip, 14.4 mm in height, a bit tall, 20 mm between the lugs and weights 45 grams, just 45 grams. The watch is powered by an automatic movement, the System 51, which is based on the ETAC 10111. So a mechanical movement with 28600 VPH beating at 3 Hz and and 90 hours power reserve. As waterproofness we have 50 fathoms, respectively 91 meters, 300 feet or 9 bar, exactly as the original model. If you wonder why this homage carries 91 meters and not 100 or 200. Has a new directional bezel with 120 clicks, pretty snappy and accurate, but also the transparent insert which unveils the bezel numerals and the markers all loomed. And then when we flip the watch, a mechanical surprise. The colors from the illustrations printed on the movement are themed for each model. In this case having a yellow chromodory skytery which represents a sea lug as a motif of the swatch and black punk campaign. As personal preference in conclusion, I will probably never save money to buy specifically a 50 fathoms. As I mentioned there are still a lot of watches to be discovered until I reach a blanc pump. And in this case I will be glad to satisfy my curiosity or the thirst with the official Swatch Blanc Pomme merchandise because it reflects pretty good the proportions and the design of the modern 50 fathoms just to satisfy my curiosity. But how about you? Would you spend 400 euros or dollars to satisfy your Blanc Pomme curiosity? Please let me know in the comments below. And as usual if you're new around, please consider subscribing for future episodes much thanks for watching and until next time be brave bro. stay safe